All right, how are you two? Welcome to, well, as I literally just said there, Dyson Sphere program. This is one I've only just picked up. I have heard of it before. I've seen a little bit of gameplay from earlier versions. I've never played it myself. <clears throat> and yes, as the name suggests, you're building a Dyson Sphere, or at least that's the idea. Uh, also, mm, yeah, these guys are new. There's some kind of uh, enemy faction as well that's been added recently. We'll go ahead and start a new game. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Uh, I guess that looks good. Who's this guy? Red Giant. Uh, uh, sure, this is probably fine. Let's go. Don't know enough about the settings to uh, really judge on that. Zero, transforming into infinity and beyond. It spreads and becomes the shadow of the galaxy. Oh, that's big then. <clears throat> yeah, that didn't look that big in the distance, but. Rises, the stars dim. You will embark on a new journey. <laughs> I think it's the actual date. <laughs> Welcome to the real universe. Very soon, you'll find this place different from our homeland. But you should be able to adapt to the laws of physics here in no time. I'm your advisor. I will assist you in completing this mission. Uh, speak to your physics. You're getting a little... You're getting a little... Mm. Okay, so the ship's basically immune to heat then. Well, I guess that speed maybe just went past so fast that it didn't matter. Everything here belongs to you. As a member of the Cosmo, pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster from ground zero. Yes, we've been probably four down there. Resources available here to build a Dyson Sphere that supplies energy to the center brain to maintain homeland simulation. Okay. I've chosen a planet for the mission, and there are essential resources for the initial development. Now, please pilot the space capsule toward this planet. So I guess given that and mention of the real world, I guess the idea is where our race normally lives in a simulation, but we... Or like actually run the planet that does it. Okay, controls are simple enough. What is this? And should I be worried about it? There's something that that is clearly not a natural part of the planet. What is that? <clears throat> well, is this a, is this a problem? Unknown EM signals detected. Extracting feature variables. Comparing with database. Those are highly likely anomalous mechanical bodies from the Mechanic Energy Program. Engineers call them Dark Fog. Dark Fog is extremely sensitive to EM signals under a regular pattern, so they may launch an assault on us. To stay low profile, we will land on the other side of this planet. Oh boy, they're already here. Okay. But yes, yeah, so this is I don't know. This is a bit Factorio esque. Uh, this one, this and then it's a bit because it's doing its own thing as well. But very powerful but lightweight industrial mecha. Use the direction keys or click the right mouse button on the ground to move the mecha. In this mission, you'll control your mecha to navigate the universe oh. and create miracles. Not a little bit. Now please try to disassemble the space capsule. Click the right mouse button to proceed. 
To collect resources like wood or gravel, click the right mouse button as well. In addition, you can hold shift and click the right mouse button on each of your targets to give a series of commands. Okay, so... Some items are found <coughs> after disassembling the space capsule. Click on the inventory button at the bottom right corner of the screen to open and check. Okay. Alright, what do we got? Hydrogen fuel. Iron magnets, copper. Got stuff behind that. the up. middle mouse button to rotate the camera or scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Level 3000, I have a feeling we will be mining that for a while. Yeah, okay, that's iron. Alright. <coughs> I would assume that is copper. Yeah, copper, okay. So put off so far. Construction menu is <coughs> locked. Complete a technology research to unlock it. Click on the technology tree button at the bottom right corner of the screen to open the technology tree and start a research. What do we actually have tech tree wise? Oh, pretty expensive. Mission completed. Oh, that's the one we need to go for, clearly. Uh, no, we've got universe metric. Okay, so that's like our science packs. Combine them all. Unofficial star. Antimatter. Antimatter capsule. Ah, that's like fuel capsule, I assume. Oh, that's a weapon. <laughs> Majority of enemies were destroyed immediately due to the amount of energy released. Yeah, that sounds about right. Gravity missiles. Oh, boy. Ships. Oh, okay, got ships. <coughs> uh, what else? Oh, my God, there's some. Okay. We'll start from. Okay, magnetism, I guess. Sure. But we need magnets. Uh, can we make this? Yes, and I think we made some extras. Mutant automatic mining machine, wind turbines, and Tesla tower. Okay, so our power is wireless. <coughs> Upgrade resource. Oh my god, there's more. Okay. You've obtained a mining machine. It automatically collects ores for you. You can select it in the inventory or in the <coughs> oh, a lot of them. collecting section. To start building it. The universe exploration. Oh, view all distribution on the planet. Metacore. Okay. How do I two for them, is it? Oh I see different like classes of building. Well we're going to need power, I assume. Yeah, we could afford one of those. Looks like we're starting low tech, <coughs> as is the way. Games like this. Insufficient items. Click on the replicator button at the bottom right corner of the screen to open the replicator and manually replicate the required items. A wind turbine. You've now built your first power grid. Some power facilities don't have a power supply range, so you'll need to extend the power grid coverage with Tesla towers. We need two magnets or iron gears. Any gears do I need? Two. Uh, oh, I'll really take. oh, okay, I see. Is there anything under the sort of scan range of mines? You have an unpowered production facility. To make it run normally, place it within the power grid coverage and make sure power is supplied. You 
you've built your first power transmission facility, a Tesla tower. It can help you transmit power wirelessly over a short range and extend the power grid coverage. Click on it to view more details. Oh, we're not actually powering it <coughs> fully. I think we're technically... Yeah, okay, so the mine's not even running at full at the moment. That. Got a load of iron on the cheap. Do we have to... Can we just craft iron? We can just craft iron, okay. Can you hold shift to make more? No. I'm just going to batch smelt the whole lot, though. Is that stone? Stone brick. Okay. Guess we have to just leave that running and it will tick up. Yep, that's good. Right. I guess then, right? Because that's kind of all we can do at the moment with it. EM matrix. Lots. Ah, okay, that's our like tech box lab. Can we get anything to. What does that do? Arc smelter. So that automatically smells. We need like logistics, right? Yeah, conveyor belt. <coughs> so what do we need? 10 circuit boards and 10 gears. Okay, let's go out and try and get some of that going. Where do we get silicon from? Is it stones? Uh, what is this? The coal. It's got to be coal, right? Yeah, coal. Hmm. I assume silicon will patch it as well, will it? It's just stone. Crude oil. Hmm. Oh. That did a thing. Oh, milestone. Okay. Could it be somewhere out here somewhere, right? He said this was vital, vital, this vital, vital resources, my dude. Where are they? Oh, we have 12. Must have been carrying something somewhere because we didn't a minute ago. Oh. Is it a byproduct of stone? <coughs> At any rate, let's make some more second walls. We'll have to go about it. Uh, Oh, circuit boards are iron and copper. Oh, okay. Wait, weren't these? Did we make this one of silk? Maybe not. Okay, iron and copper. Got it. We're probably going to want some more power, though, considering this wasn't enough to <coughs> run fully on its own. Have we got enough stuff for that? I think so. More enough items. Automatically make one. Ah, okay. This is automatically make you one. Another upgrade, but oh, it actually finds the plant a little bit. Yeah, now I had to fill up. Get you up and on. In the meantime, okay, so we need. Iron or copper, even. <coughs> need more. No, do we need more copper? Like magnets. How do we? How do we make magnets? Or ah, okay. We need to spell iron directly into magnets. Okay. <coughs> uh, was it for up here to F? May take me a little while to get used to. Just make a whole bunch of them because I think we're going to need them. This game is definitely telling me uh, automate this stuff when you can, I think, from what I've seen so far, which checks out. Okay, buildings. So I am glad we have uh, at least have a way to just tell it to automate a lot. Clear out that for now. <coughs> well, we've got raw iron. You can make that stuff. What are we shopping for that? Anyway. 
enough and then mine. Let's have a look. So, what is a dice sphere? For those who don't know, since we brought it up earlier. So, it's basically putting a set of solar panels around the sun. Yeah, Freeman Dyson throws the concept in the 60s. Put it in, encompasses a star and harnesses a large part of its power output. Uh, obviously, that's quite a significant construction. If you need help, press G to open the guidebook for detailed instructions. I think we're okay at the moment. Right, so these fill up pretty quick then. So the, these can clearly mine quite a lot. Um, let's look at tech. So basic logistics act fit. So we're going to want this as quickly as we can get it. I need 10 of those. And 10 of those. Okay. Might work away and keep these empty. Oh, four. Fuel is required for Mecca's every activity. Oh. When energy is exhausted, its action will be restricted. You can click on the Mecha panel button at the bottom right corner of the screen to open the Mecha panel and replenish the fuel chamber. I see, so we're going to keep ourselves filled up. Alright, that's a bit of a nuisance, but hopefully we'll get some of the wild charging set up at some point. I guess the idea is we'll need to take fuel if we're going further out. Also, I think our... Oh. There we go. What about in the sorter? Smell depots. You've obtained sorter and conveyor belt. Full automation is now possible. Use a conveyor belt to transport ores collected in the mining machine. The sorter will transport ores onto the conveyor belt into the arc smelter that will smelt them automatically. Well, I'm thinking we do. Let's set up one type of storage for each. I'm going to belt them out to here for now and let our resources build up a little bit. For storing items. You can manually store items or use a sorter to automatically access items. Wrong connection type. Use a sorter. There are two types of facility ports. Connection ports and bridge ports. Connection ports are only compatible with conveyor belts. While bridge ports are only compatible with what? sorters. If a conveyor belt can't connect to a facility, try a sorter. This is a vine. If there isn't enough ground space, make more efficient use of your sorters. Which side can they belt? Depots, storage tanks, and splitters. Oh, you make three at once. Okay. You know, our problem, my dude, is we're out of conveyor belts. <clears throat> you try and get smelting automated as our first thing, I think. It seems simple enough so far. It's a bit factorial esque. Oh, we actually got some sorters. They actually gave us some finishing the research. That's kind of cool. Either into a facility via conveyor belt or between facilities. But we don't really need to sort it, right? We're just feeding it straight in. Oh, we planned the first conveyor belt, which is that long. After that, say, yeah. So, do we get anything for this? Don't think so. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I guess we do need them to load things in, I suppose. The sorter is a connector that moves items between facilities. Simply bridge from a supplier facility to a receiver facility. Then the sorter will automatically transport the items. Do we need that one? Yes, we do. Okay, so need power though. That's kind of annoying that we need power to split things in boxes, but I guess it's like a factorial like loader. Nice. Oh, and that's telling you how much ore it's got left in mind. Okay, that's kind of cool. That actually tells you how much you've got left. But that is something factorial doesn't really do. Uh, oh yeah, okay. When building a conveyor belt, Confirm its starting point and end point. Use up arrow to raise the conveyor belt one level. Use down arrow to lower the conveyor belt one level if it has been raised. Press keypad zero to reset the conveyor belt to ground level. 
Oh, okay, so you can drop it down. Okay. That makes much sense to me so far. Can you do this? Oh, it's still working on it. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, because we've got the conveyor belts we made first. Alright. Okay, so... What would be next? We want uh, smelting, right? Arc smelters. So we need 10 magnets. And then... CPUs. Okay, now. I didn't feel lack of fuel. Oh, did we run out already? Oh, we're running low anyway. I guess we'll mine some coal. Oh god, I'm damaging the trees just by wandering into them. Gee, I hope that robot swarm doesn't come and murder us all. But just remember they're still on the other side of the planet. We never did anything about them. Did we run off coal? Yes. Which is kind of funny, frankly. Use the coal to make more coal. Okay, that should be good for the moment. Let's try to keep the power at least somewhat on the grid. And. Uh, iron? No, that's. Okay, that's coming out. How do I. Deconstruct it. Although I could deconstruct things earlier. Uh, control. Oh, was that deconstruct? Dismantle. Is that a way? Can't be fed in that way of conveyor belt. He's a slaughter on a cargo belt. Okay. Not the arc smelter. There we go. Okay, full automation sort of is needed. Awesome, but also can be able to Okay. Okay, so you do it the other way around. Okay, I see. <coughs> I guess the idea is so that you can have some your belts running quite close to each other. Uh, oh, that doesn't. That loads in pretty slow. Oh dear. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, there's got to be a better way than this, surely. That's so slow. Uh, that's, not, that's not even as fast as the miners working, I don't think. Uh, can we do... Hang on. Let's try something. Why can I not? Let's try like that. That's something I used to sort of do for uh, anodons, I want to say. Now put some melty, so we'll worry. It's yeah, in the way. No, wait. Where's the. Yeah, there we go. Can I go like. <clears throat> yeah, I can, but I have to run the pipe around a little further. Wow, is that really my best way to load things at the moment? Okay, uh, I guess that's what we're going with. Let's <coughs> do three if one. Let's do quite a bit of clicking to load things up. Oh yeah, right, I need to make another one of these, don't I? We need a few, actually. Right. Probably closer than that, but even still, yeah, that seems pretty slow. Get that on, right? Smelting. Let's get on with that. Thing. So we've got three of them. Work, and everything. Oh yeah, how much power do we? 
Oh, we're nowhere near it. Okay, we need to make some more power because we're not making anywhere near enough. <clears throat> uh, oh. Can I make five? Is there a better power generation type? Wind's good for the environment, not so good for generating a huge amount of power at the moment, it seems. Plasma capacitor. Nope, we need the science boxes for these. Water pump. EM drive. Engines. That's for spaceships. Weapon systems. Mm. Very concerning, but that's something we'll need. Uh, greater logistics. What is that? Traffic monitor. <coughs> oh, tells you much stuff from Okay, so there is a better sorter, I was going to say. Steel. Also can build wind turbine on water. I'm not sure why that's an upgrade we get from that, but fair. Combustible unit. Oh, that's better fuel cells, isn't it? Smelting purification. Ah, so we do make it from stone, but we have to filter it out specifically. Energetic graphite. And was that silicon? Silicon. We can make rare meals. I do appreciate that. Uh, what does that give us? Accumulator batteries, basically. Ah, solar connection. There we go. Solar panel, although I assume there's only work a day, so there is that slight issue. Okay. It's here, basically, if we want to get that. Set them off working away, at any rate. Okay, so that assumably means we made the... Yep. And get these somewhat on grid. Wait, no, even the grid's kind of getting janky over here. What's going on there? No, is it there? I think it's there. It just didn't show very well. Oh, no, these aren't even connected. That's better. Okay. Now we're looking. Our fuel has run out already. Jeez. I guess we slow down when we're um when we're out of fuel. That's my little right yeah, we're good for smelting stuff, aren't we? Right yeah, how are we doing for power? We're good for power because that's melting. So now that's melting, yes, I'm aware. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You've built an arc smelter, which automatically produces basic materials such as iron ingots and copper ingots. However, to automatically feed in raw materials and feed out products, sorters and conveyor belts are required. <laughs> Once a recipe is assigned, use less than key to copy the current recipe and greater than key to paste the recipe into the next building. We do have cost recipes, that's good. Right. <clears throat> that's off to a fairly good start. So we've got iron smelting. Freezing the weight. Get this space here. We'll try and um, get it automatically moving into more storage as well. Three of those and two storages. We'll need proper smelt lorries later, but this should be fine for now. Okay, yeah, it looks like with three you can just about keep up with the mines. Okay. That's good. So we did eventually keep up on that. Catch up on that, I guess you say. Oh yeah, there's our lab. Put that here for now. A matrix lab. A facility to produce matrices. It can also be used to research technologies that are unlocked with oh, matrices. It makes, it makes them matrices labs, the arms as well. Okay. To maintain the center brain Magnets and circuits. You can upload as many matrices to the center brain to run its simulation and unlock more technologies in the real world. Yes, you can unlock technology outside of the game. These are all secretly linked to some kind of crypto server. Uh, no, I don't actually think that's true. Um, 
I reckon two should probably be good enough to keep these things filled. Put these things off loading at a good rate. I think we'll need all three on each. Uh, that seems to be about perfect in terms of uh, being one to one on it. Oh, I thought it was loaded back in again. It's still alive. I'm coming back to offload it. Okay. Right. I think coal mine next, actually, because we're running out of energy constantly. I think it might, have, might be a good idea to get us to have a way to refill our energy. <coughs> but we'll see you on the next one, because that's where we're out of time for now. See you guys in the next one. Hopefully you're enjoying.